Welcome to the Build Your Base podcast. I am very happy and excited today to be welcoming on Guy from Base. Thank you for joining us, Guy. Thanks for inviting me over, Jack. Very excited to be here on the very first few episodes of Build Your Base podcast. Yeah, this will be in the first batch of episodes we've been putting out. And this is something we've been thinking about doing for so for long. a while, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's good to actually get it up and running. So you wear a few different hats at Base, one of which is marketing, the other is coach. And you made a decision a while ago to get into the fitness industry. First of all, can you just tell us what did you study at university, what subject did you choose and why did you choose to study that? Yeah, I get this question a lot. So I graduated with a degree in financial investment and analysis, which is way different from what I'm doing now from Chula Long Kong University in like international programs. So back then there is not many choice for me in my program to choose. It's this one, the finance, finance accounting and like international business so there's only a few options so I just go with the one that I feel the most safe which will give me like stable jobs after I graduate so I don't want to think anything just like after graduate I'll just go onto the normal path like going to banking or stuff that's what I first thought how I rationalized and what stage did you realize that maybe that wasn't the path you wanted to stay on it's really fast Really fast, just like a few semester in, I'm like, okay, I'm done with this already. Yeah, but I think I know exactly that this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life or even a few years after I graduate is on my second year. Like I realize I'm not going to do this. Later on, then I try to avoid the subject that is really, really finance. So I pick marketing, I pick some other stuff. So when you came out of university, what was your next step after that? So I know right away that I'm not doing anything finance at all. So back then in the university, I tried something else because I really want to find something I like. So I, now I know that this is what I don't like. So I tried sales during my summer break and then it's quite okay, but like not really that I really want to get up and then work for this. And I tried human resources development. Still not quite, but like, okay, I can live with it. So I only have one left, which is marketing. So I just take that as my first career yeah mm-hmm. first job and so you decided you wanted to get into marketing at what stage did you think you'd like to get into the fitness industry so in the first year I was picking the industry that I still like so it's like food restaurant and stuff but then okay I feel like what do I like more that I want to stick to for a long time and then of course if I pick something it should be something I like because I think we spend mo- most of the time working so which will leave us like only a few hours a day to do something we like. So why not make what we like a career? So that's when I realized, okay, I really, I'm really like into health and fitness, so I'll step into it. And what made you decide marketing? You didn't like finance, you knew that was something you didn't want to do. What was it about marketing that appealed to you? I think at the beginning it was quite random because I think I tried, I thought I tried everything possible and then I don't really find anything I like. So I'm like, okay, only marketing, which is the only choice left that I haven't tried. But I think the thing I like about marketing is it's quite interactive. Like it's quite a continuous process of trial and error. As opposed to like if you are doing accounting, it's like accounting, this is how you do it. And this is how you stick with it. But marketing is more like product, price, place, promotion. You have to try it out. If this works, if not, then what went wrong? And then kind of try to improve all the time. So I think that's what I like about it. Mm. Me too. I also really enjoy marketing. And I think yeah. we have learned so much about marketing <laughs> since you came onto base 18 months ago now, yeah. right? Can time. you give any tips to anyone that might be listening that want to get more into marketing? First of all, I think if you have a strong interest in something, that's going to help your job easier. Like you have to really dive yourself into the industry, into the market, know exactly what the clients like, know what you can provide, what they like, what they don't. I think it's kind of, that's like the main tip. It's like you kind of need to be into it. If you're just going to study and like on the surface level, it's going to be hard for you to get like all the insight you need to put out something that is useful for the members and clients. Mm. Once someone decides they want to get into marketing, what advice can you give them in terms of actually getting a job? Because you reached out to base when we didn't actually have any positions. Yeah. And we had a conversation. I thought you'd be a good fit into the team. And it all kind of started from there 18 months ago. Yeah. What advice would you give to people that, you know, they know that marketing is something they want to do, but they're just not quite sure how to get that first position or that first job? So I think you have to be really like really be flexible because especially if you reach out without any opening position, you have to be like, okay, are you okay with doing something that might not be what you expected? So when I first start, 
I remember I was doing everything, like not just marketing. Sometimes it's like helping out here and there. You have to be like okay with being flexible with the role. I think that's the first start. But if you're talking about like getting a marketing job in more a bigger company in which they have marketing position opening, uh, the first step would be you have to know exactly what they are doing. Because I have seen like a lot of resume coming through that like I just want to get. A marketing position, but they don't really know what that business is really doing. Because mm. even though in a health and fitness, there is a lot of offering between each gym, each studios, or each business type. So we are offering group class and personal training. Some just want to come in and do Zumba or something. That's not like that's not a first start for anyone who apply for a job. Like to study what that business does, and do you have the qualification or any interest that you want to put into the business? I think that's the first start. Yeah, some good tips there. I think it's good to really understand the business that you're yeah. getting into, right? Which I think you did very well. And also another trait that you have, which I think has served you well, is just being so open to feedback. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> and really open to kind of hearing how you can improve. Really, absolutely, genuinely wanting yeah. to hear that, and then being able to act on that as well. So, why health and fitness? You know, there's many different industries you could have got into marketing. Why fitness? First of all, it has to be something I'm interested in. I think this is when you find. What you do in your free time, I think that when you can pick out, that's what you're interested in. So of course, I like health and fitness, but I think to make it a career, yeah, as I said before, I think we spend most of our time, like eight hours a day, to do our work, right? And it's quite depressing if we have to spend that hours doing something we don't like. Let's say if you ask me to do a marketing for like car parts, so like technology <laughs> in which I don't totally don't get it, and then one day you said, okay, today we have a project in which we have to pull over until midnight. It's gonna be hard for mm. me to love the job. It's just easier if you just jump into the industry that you are really into it. Yeah, I think that makes it easier for us each day because we know yeah. we really believe in what believe we're doing in, and we yeah. know that it's helping people. And mm -hmm. it's a great feeling when our marketing works; it brings in people, and we see the we results see they results, get. Yeah, I know it's really cool. Why base? Tough question. <laughs> I reached out to a lot of business in health and fitness, and not many get back to me. And then base just turns out they get back to me, in which my email looks like a spam that time. And <laughs> I look back, but yeah, thanks for getting back to me. Yeah, but I think when I when I start researching on base, they are doing things properly, in which mm. surprisingly not many people does. So getting back to emails, that's the first thing that business should do. Like every email, especially like applicants, if you don't have any position opening, just let them know that mm. you are not. Um, recruiting or anything, but yeah, like base partner with Adidas, they do like stuff properly. They have a legit website and stuff. So I think yeah, I want to get involved in a business that is doing things properly. I guess mm. yeah. Because we get quite a few applications come through. I remember seeing that one that was personalized to us. It wasn't yeah, just a copy thanks. and paste email. <laughs> Sometimes we even get emails where they've literally CC. CC everyone. Right, yeah, every <laughs> like, gym in okay. Bangkok. So for me, anyone that makes the effort to send us a, a personal message that really they've given some thought and attention to, I will always at the very least get back to them. And even if we don't have a position, I really enjoy meeting up with people and just having a chat to see where it could go. Because mm. that's exactly what I thought yeah. with you. We didn't have a marketing position at the time. Yeah. I was like, well, seems like she's keen on getting in the industry and would be a good person to meet. And then something great came of it. So yeah, I think it's worth, if anyone's listening and they want an opportunity, just reach out, put some effort into it, show that person or that company that you really want to do this and good things might happen. Do you have any regrets on not taking a more traditional route such as finance, which I think people would perceive has a bit more security. Yeah, I, I think I have that t from time to time when I get started because as like you said earlier that when I started, I kind of just jump around and do everything like not marketing, marketing or not even coaching. So I was feeling, oh, is this going to be stable? Is this something that I can stick to for a long time? If I have kids, so I have family, do I, oh, I do this to support everyone. But then I think that regret just kind of drops when I start to make more commitment to it. Mm -hmm. Like if you start off and you kind of just do it for fun, do it day by day, it's going to be hard for you for any job, not even fitness industry to grow or progress anything in the career. But I think if you study more, you try to give more into it. I think there's mm -hmm. going to be a path for you to go. Yeah, absolutely. I think the fitness industry has evolved and changed a, a lot. lot in the last yeah. five or ten years. I think 15 years ago it would have been rather difficult mm. to really build a career, yeah. but I think now people are starting to see this is a real industry that's yeah. here to stay, and there really is opportunities to grow and develop and do many different things like things. you have done as well. Yeah. How have your parents, your friends, your family responded to you choosing this path? 
at the beginning, I remember I don't want to tell my parents. So I was like, oh, changing careers, I'm changing where I work. But because they kind of feel that it's not stable, they want me to work in like a more secure job, like finance, banking and stuff. But I think it's for you to prove that you can make this serious. Like every job can be done seriously. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be just that certain job. My friends actually think it's cool to make passion profession because I don't feel like I come to work every day. It's just like, okay, I come to do something I like and that's my day. How do your parents feel about it now? Because I took it seriously, like I kind of invest into it. Like Saturday, Sunday, I don't mind if I have to wake up to work or anything. So they really know that I really, really like it and I'm happy with it. And they see that I have progressed a lot mm. during the past few years. So I think they're happy now. Are they aware of some of the successes we've had at base, you know, winning gym of the year? Yeah, and... they know it. They know it. They follow us on Instagram. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Do you have any final advice for anyone who wants to get into health and fitness, whether it's, you know, marketing or on the coaching side? I think let's break it down a little bit so it's useful to each one. So if you're starting as a fitness coach, it's going to be a lot easier for you if you have a degree or if you study sports science or something. For like someone who's new to an industry like me, when I get started, I don't have anything. So I started finance, so I have to get a certification afterwards. So I think where to start is to just get something in your hands. Even if it's a certification or anything, just try to get something that qualified that you can do the job. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be the first step. Also on the coaching side, I think it's going to be useful for you to study an industry and to know what kind of job or role you want to do in each business. Let's say if someone wants to be at base but they want to do Pilates, it's going to be hard for them to mm -hmm. find a spot in it. Or if I want to do Zumba at some other studio that just do personal training, it's going to be hard. So, it's just, so get a qualification, study the industry and know exactly what you want to do. That's going to be for coaching side. For other positions, I think you have to dive yourself into it. Go on their social media, see what they are doing, subscribe to their emails, just go visit the studio. I think that's going to give you a lot of insight in how each business is running and then you can decide from there if you want to get involved in which one. Yeah, I think that's great advice and when you get qualified in a specific area and then you contact a gym or a studio that really yeah. specializes in that, mm -hmm. it's much easier to contact them, you yeah. can write that personal email, you're going to come through much better in the interview. Again, we receive some emails and resumes, I think they've just sent it to every a different lot, kind yeah. of gym. Better to send to just three or four of the ones that you definitely you really, want to really work want at. To. And I think you'll make much more progress in actually getting that position. Yeah. This podcast was set up to help people build their strongest Bangkok life. We're just going to finish up with one tip from Yugi to help people do that. Yeah, so I think this time it's easy to just get caught in being lazy and just lay in bed doing Netflix all day. So I think just one tip is just to stay active in some way. It's not necessary if you have to just go hard on the exercise. If you just like to go for a walk, just go for a walk. Just do something that keeps yourself moving. I think that's going to be the best tip. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I think it is quite tough at the moment, tough, but just yeah. something small. Yeah, yeah do um, a free online workout or walk around yeah. the block or something like that. That's... Even walk to the shops, I think, is quite a good one. Yeah, right. Just go around a supermarket, wear a mask, and then just walk out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least you're moving, right? Yeah. Just something, <laughs> just laying on the sofa. Thank you, Guy, for joining us on the Build Your Base podcast. I appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Jack, and hope to see you guys soon. Stay safe, guys.